first bit of news today surrounds Australia's newest airline and ultra low cost carrier Bonza. Now this is not particularly good news for the airline as last week they had one of their aircraft taken away from them. Now you're probably wondering how can Bonza have an aircraft literally taken away from them? Let me explain. Bonza is owned by a Miami based alternative investment platform called 777 Partners. As well as Bonza they own many other investments in industries including insurance, fintech, sports, entertainment and of course aviation. Now the loss of Bonza's aircraft is directly correlated to 777 Partners' other low-cost carrier, Flair Airlines, based in Canada. Basically, what happened is that the aircraft lesser Airborne Capital, who were leasing out some aircraft to Flair, decided to repossess their aircraft back as Flair, or 777 Partners, were a few days behind on a leasing payment. This basically resulted in Flair losing four of its aircraft, meaning there was a lot of disruption in the network, including mass cancellations, as the airline no longer had enough aircraft to fly all the routes. Therefore, 777 Partners quickly came up with a solution to repurpose Bonza's newest 737 MAX to Flair. Now, according to Bonza's spokesperson, they mentioned that this occurrence will not affect Bonza's plans at all. They never took delivery of that specific aircraft, and it's not uncommon for this to happen as a part of fleet planning. Now, ultimately, Bonza will still be receiving their eight initial 737 MAX aircraft and will continue to provide flights, mainly based out of Sunshine Coast. It's interesting that Bonza have said that it's not a setback for them because they could have introduced a fourth aircraft onto the market much sooner than expected. Was it a fifth? I I think it's a Fifth. fifth. Yeah. I, I don't understand how any spokesperson for any airline can stand there and say that the fact that they know are no longer taking delivery of an aircraft doesn't set them back at all. Because quite frankly, that is money that could have been brought in through revenue service that's not going to be brought in for a little bit longer until the next air- aircraft is delivered. Exactly, yeah. And what I was going to say is they would have planned to have more frequencies on routes or to have more routes, for example, and they're not able to do that at the time maybe they allocated to because now this delivery has been pushed back. 